It comes in a big box. It surely does. It's from Diecast Masters and it's the Caterpillar 797F Tier 4 Mining Truck. And it presents itself in an outer shipping carton. Without wasting any more time, let's peel the tape, lift the flap and then end tip the contents. And here they are with the big metal tin, protected by expanded polystyrene trays. Free of packaging, we can look at the big tin. And it's got a great photo of the 797F on the lid. As usual, if we turn the tin around, we get some facts. And we can see that the truck weighs around 230 metric tons when it's empty. And it can carry nearly 363 metric tons of payload. Off comes the big metal lid and then there's some more packaging. And there's the usual Diecast Masters mini brochure, this one dated 2019. Finally, we get to the position where we can see the model inside the tin. And then it's the job of the giant hand cranes to carefully lift it out. No assembly to do on this model because it's complete out of the tin. Box. As usual, we start underneath, and as befits a large mining truck, it's heavy duty construction. But there's also a lot of detail, including working steering cylinders. And there are many hoses and cables, and some of them are detailed with connectors. Overall, there's more detail than we normally see on a model like this. The wheels are finely detailed, and the tyres also look particularly good because they're not shiny. And they also have a very nice looking tread pattern. At the front, there's lots of small details in front of that big radiator grill. And there's also a pair of wheel chocks. A feature of the model are the metal handrails, which are all nicely thin. And the printing of the cat logo is very sharp. Up on the cab deck, there are textured surfaces throughout. As with other parts of the model, this exhaust equipment has highlighted details. And if we move over to the cab, we can see there's a console inside. And on this model, the operator is permanently installed. On the side of the cab, there's the load indicator, which is showing 400 US tons. And the mirrors attached to the handrails are plastic. There's more detailing between the wheels. And there's been some good use made of paint highlighting. The detailing doesn't disappoint underneath the big dump body either. Again, there are many cables and hoses with highlighted parts and discrete components. The big hoist rams on the model are two stage, with the middle part being grey plastic. On the other side of the truck between the wheels there's more highly detailed equipment, and it all adds to the realistic appearance of the model. Looking underneath the dump body the structure is modelled well, and it all has a suitably tough appearance. Hanging down are a couple of loose mud flaps, and along the body sides there are some sharp graphics. Inside the body there's some nice shaping, and there is a separate central section which is plastic, but with a decent colour match. Some of the nicest detailing is at the rear of the model. There are hooked on securing cables, and there are some nice sharp graphics at the top of the lift rams. And as you can see, cable runs are marked out. Dropping down to the axle itself there's also more high detail, with some careful use of highlighting. First up, let's get the model on the Cranes Etc Weybridge. And as you would expect, this is a big chunk of model. Once it's on the Weybridge, you can see that it comes in at about 3.5 kilograms, or just under 8 pounds. The rear axle is nice because each wheel pair spins independently. And if we move to the front, there is steering on the front axle, but perhaps the angle is not quite the 40 degrees that the real machine can achieve. The model also has full suspension on the rear axle. Let's get it out into the cranes etc test mine. And the big 797 does roll very smoothly. And no doubt that's partly because it's so heavy. If we set the steering then the truck follows a smooth curve. And if we want to do some push ups the model will help us with that as well. With the rear axle suspension being effective. 
One important test on a model like this is the raising of the dump body, and the hydraulic rams are certainly stiff enough to give your arms a workout. The good news is that the angle is excellent, maybe even more than the real machine. Another feature on the model is the opening engine covers, and they are very close fitting and so not so easy to open. Even sharp nails are not necessarily enough. But once they are open, they stay open, and you're rewarded with a good look inside at the engine. And again, diecast masters have done a good job with highlighting to enhance the detail. When you're all done, the engine covers can be dropped shut. Another working feature are the hydraulic stairs, and they fold down and are well grounded. But just make sure you raise the stairs before driving along. It's annoying to get something stuck in your teeth, and it's the same with wheels, so rock knockers are provided. Now a big truck like this needs to be loaded with a big machine. So what shall we use? Well, how about a London double-decker bus? Here it arrives with a specially opening roof, and it can be used to fill the truck with cork rocks. Yes, only on cranes etc can you see nonsense like this. Of course you might prefer something more conventional, like a Caterpillar 994 wheel loader. Even this machine would struggle to fill the 797 efficiently. But you've got to do what you've got to do and get the job done. It is a big model, so let's do a dim check. And the height is about 15 centimeters or 6 inches. And when the machine is tipping, that approximately doubles. From end to end, we're looking at about 30 centimeters or 1 foot. And side to side, it's 20 centimeters or 8 inches. This is an impressive large model from Diecast Masters. It has some much improved detailing compared to previous versions of this truck. And of course it's beautifully presented in its big tin. It looks great with other large mining models. And although it is pricey, it has enough going for it to be rated as excellent. <laughs>